Whew, gotta catch my breath while it's fresh on my mind. Okay, the definitive guide to whether or not you should buy a timeshare. Pay attention, take notes, and don't say I didn't tell you so. So, I'm gonna make it really simple. If you have the time flexibility, the health, and the funds to travel, then a timeshare might be really good for you. It might be a great option. Now, if the timeshare you're considering is in a place that you love, that you can't get enough of, that you just cannot wait for that next trip to that location, then you found a real, real um, excellent potential for an investment. Not an investment that's gonna make you money, but an investment in you and your family and your friends uh, that you get to invite there, that you get to spend time with your loved ones and all that. So if all that rings true, you need to look into it. And of course, negotiate the price. Negotiate at the place, buying directly from the resort or the group, you know, the Hilton, the Marriott, the Wyndham, whomever, and then check the prices out in the open market. Um, there's a few websites that advertise uh, people selling. It's, uh, it's a real estate transaction, so that timeshare might cost you $20,000 at the Hilton Resort. It might be $10,000 in the open market and you just won't get a nice bag that says Hilton or a hat or a hug from the salesperson that just cashed in a $6,000 commission for talking to you for three hours. So make sure you negotiate, make sure that you do your homework on the, on the money transaction part of it. Now, the opposite is if you don't have flexibility on your calendar if your funds are uh, limited and um, not not flexible and you know you're saving for a house or a car or a wedding um, maybe you don't have the best health and you don't really know uh, you know where you're gonna be uh, what your disposition will be in six months or a year or two years or five then a timeshare it's the worst purchase for you it's the worst decision you can make because your probability of not taking advantage is high so look at it like a gym membership if I pay an expensive gym membership but I go every single day and it helps my my mental state and um, my energy level and, and my overall health, etc., etc. it's a cheap investment at the end of the day. Now, if I go once a month and dig around for the hour that I'm there, then it becomes a waste of money or a really expensive 30 minute workout or one hour workout. That's how you have to look at this. I won't go on about the homework that you need to do, but this is the very basic decision checklist on whether or not you should look into it. There are many of you out there that a timeshare uh, will be one of the one of the best investments in your uh, family quality time that you can possibly make. But go through the checklist that I just gave you. Remember the locations of your timeshare, whether it's points with many locations or one you absolutely have to love it. If you have any doubt in that regard, don't get it and just stay out of that because it, it, you're not gonna like it. It's like making a car payment uh, you know, in, in a car that you don't like. That's it, there you have it. Red pill or blue pill, says Morpheus. Was that his name? Actually, I don't remember. Now I sound like an idiot. Thanks for stopping by, good luck. Um, if you have questions, pop them. I'll try to answer. Like I said before, 
you don't have to like, you don't have to follow. I don't do this for the notoriety, I just do it for fun and to contribute back to the YouTube family of uh, providers of information that I, I enjoy and um, find very, very useful in life. So again, thank you for watching. Peace out.